All right, guys, welcome to very important video of VIHQ. This video is very much important for all those people, those who are working in cyber security. Either you are looking for a job, either you have a job, and even if you are about to end your job, right? So, I'm going to tell you about the highest pay paying cyber security roles that you can opt for. Probably, if you're in college, if you're doing job for any, any MNCs, right? So, you might not be aware about the highest position in cyber security, right? So, like cyber security is right now no longer just a tech job, it's like highest in income, highest impact, and uh, like the Cyber security is never going to be ended, right? So I'm going to tell you the top 10 paying cyber security jobs in 2025 and probably 2026 as well. And uh, and why companies paying such a huge amount to the people, those who are in the specific field. Okay, so three points I'm going to cover in this video is first, how much salary they are going to pay you, which will be the positions, what they exactly do and why it pays high. And even at the end, what are skills which is required for doing all those jobs. And probably you'll feel like, after watching this video. So the very first role that we have which is having the highest pay, pay scale is security architect. Okay, so why basically what exactly they are getting? So right now the salary of the security architect is around 35. It's right what is starting from 35 lakhs per annum and it goes to around 60 lakhs per annum in India. Right, and if you call it what exactly they are getting in the US, then it's 150k dollar to around 220k dollar. So this is what exactly how much they are getting. What exactly they need to do is they build the entire security blueprint of organization. Suppose if there is a company, what exactly they need to have in the security architecture? What exactly they need to be done? The entire security architecture, like he is the top most person that we can have in the security field, right? So he create the entire blueprint, right, of a company, the security blueprint. That's why they are going to pay. This is very risky job, and why they are getting that uh, that such a huge amount because the only reason like. They make multi-cloud security decisions, right? Whatever the security decision the company need to take, which is related to architecture and all those things, it's a multi-cloud business, right? It's a multi-crore decision, right? If he is going to do a single mistake, then there will be loss in millions, right? So that's why they are getting high package. If you want to be this position, if you want to work as a security architect, then what you need to do is first cloud, then you need to work on zero trust, then uh, you need to work on S I E M and S O A R, right? And after that, threat modeling is also important. And at the end, firewall and IEM. So all this thing is uh, is very important for if you would like to be a security architect, right? So this was the first position that we had. Now, guess what? What can be the second position? Second highest paying position in cyber security. So that's for the pen testers, right? You can call pen tester or you can call uh, ethical hackers, right? So called ethical hackers. So basically, what is the salary they are getting in India? So right now they are getting around 12 to 45 LPA, right? Lakhs per annum. This is the average salary that is exactly what pen testers are getting. One of my friends who is working in a company in Pune, he is getting around 28 LPA, right? So this is the usual salary package. It might increase, right? In US, if you call about how much they are getting in US, then it's around 110K dollars to 180K dollars, right? So this is what they are getting. They are the top, if you have the top 1% pen tester and bug bounty hunters, they guys literally making crores in the years, right? So this is also a very important position in cyber security. Pen testers, which is the second highest paying roles that we have. What they do, they just break into the system and legally for sure and they find a vulnerability, right? Why it pays high? Because you save companies from real attacks, real hackers, if someone is attacking your company, that, that is the first line of defense, right? Second, what is the skills which is required as a pen tester is web pen testing, network pen testing, API pen testing, cloud pen testing, and exploit development. Exploit development is very important. Most of the pen testers feel like exploit development is not important, but guys, literally that is very much important, right? Exploit development as a pen tester. Then all you will get this earlier, otherwise, I am not going to guide anything, right? Third position that we have is cloud security engineer, right? The salary average, what they are getting is 20 to around 50 LP. Okay, and in US it's around 130k dollar to 200k dollar, right? This is what they are getting, right? And uh, what they do, they actually see cloud security engineer. Uh, basically, they secure the AWS, right? If you are having SEO, they secure the H H E O. Like it's uh, you. You might be thinking like AWS is already secure. Why they are working on securing all those things, which is already from Amazon, one of the best security they have. Guys, this is like how you are configuring, right? How you configure your environment. They're going to test. The configura configurations, the pipeline which is connected to the AWS, ACP, whatever you feel like. Why it pays high? Because 90% of the companies are migrating to cloud, which is a huge skill gap, right? There's a lot of people, but there are very less people those who actually have no knowledge about uh, cloud security engine. What are the skills which is required? IAM, just let me know in the comment box what exactly IAM. Kubernetes, container security, and uh, Terraform, 
okay telecom is also very important networking these skills are very much important if you want to be a cloud security engineer all right then now the next position that we have fourth position is which is booming a lot guess what it's 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 ai security a large level model uh, security engineer which is llm security engineer right salary is around 25 to 55 lpa right in us it's around 150k to 240k us dollar right what they do they secure the ai systems right now for example if you have a let's say you are creating a company which is ai based company you probably have a chatbot at the back end uh, open ai collective right open ai is working as a, a llm model which is that's what you're fine tuning and training and providing in your uh let's say uh chatbot okay so then need to secure the entire pipeline they need to pen test is there any prompt injection and all those things prompt injection means if you inject something into ai right whatever ai thinks you have if there is any input parameter if you're injecting anything is it possible to get something which is beyond the limitations of a user right let's say if my company is having uh 180 uh engineers right security engineers i have a, my company we have 180 security engineers they probably are from multiple uh, nations, right? Probably from US, probably from UK, right? You might be asking how many employees VIH group is having, 180 uh, engineers, it says. From where they belong, you might be getting information, USA, uh, Akshit is from USA, let's say, Navrant is from UK, right? And what is salary, what is the exact location, what is the phone number, if you are going to get all those entire information, then probably you are doing something prompt injection. If you are going to manipulate the system, if you are going to inject something and run something malicious, all those things come, comes under prompt injection. So that's what exactly they do right and uh, like uh, for example preventing they prevent the jail breaks and prompt injection data leakage why they are getting paid so high because there's a lot of fastest growing cyber security jobs in 2025 and uh, what are the skills which is required then skills are llm security model behavior analysis and like python is very important so, so that's what we have now the next fifth position that we have is uh, probably threat intelligence we call it CTI, you probably heard of CTI, but we call it Threat Intel, right, Threat Intel and this. So salary is, what salary they are getting is 15 to 40 LPA, right, in US we call it 120K uh, and 180K dollars, right. Why they do, what they do, what exactly they do, they are actually track the hackers, right, they track the malware, data, or dark web activities to predict the attacks which might be possible on their company, on their client. So they actually work as a spider. A spider you might be heard of how exactly a spider works. Crawling as a manual crawler, they work, they search everywhere. Is there any something which is getting planned for the company? So they work on all those parameters. Second is why it pays high because they always need to be a very proactive for the defenses. They need to be uh, that much markable that nothing get damaged into their company, right? What are the skills which is required? That is malware analysis, very important. DF IR digital response, incident response, OSINT, this is compulsory skills, MITRE attack. So this is the other skills, compulsory skills, which is for threat intelligence analyst, right? Now IR. IR, you probably understood what exactly IR means, incident responders, right? What does it mean when someone is responding to the incident is called incident responders, right? So let me get this first at, yes. Now, salary, how much they are getting in India? 80 to uh, 45 LPA. They are getting right in India. And uh, around 130 k 130K dollars to 210K dollars they are getting. What they do? They just jump into when the breach happens and save the company. Suppose if your company is getting any cyber attack, if in, there is any database, then they are going to respond to the incident what is happening in your company, right? What, why it pays high? Because you are literally the uh, firefighter of cyber security for your company, right? So that's what I do. Right now, the next position that we have, yes, one more thing that we missed is what are the skills which are required? First thing is the forensics. This is what the entire IIT is dependent on. Second thing is log analysis. Second is SIM, security incident event monitoring, which is like very important because you need to monitor everything. And then reverse anything. If any attack, any malware is getting injected, then what exactly, uh, how to reverse and know who is the target being trained. Now, second, uh, seventh role that we have is security consultant. Salary is around 20k to 60 LP, uh, sorry, 20 LPA to 60 LPA. Okay, and uh, 150k dollar to 250k dollars they are getting, right? What they do? They advise company, they create policy, they conduct risk assessment for the company, right? Why this, they are getting paid high? Because company pays, paid for experience, right? Security consultant is having a lot of experience in cyber security domain. That's why they are getting paid 
because of experience, not exactly how much they were. A skills which is required, like they are mostly the compliance guy, ISO, right? SOC2, which is important. Risk management is important. Cloud and auditing skills, all those things is very much important to be a cybersecurity consultant, right? Now, next is uh, you probably hear of DevOps, but in cybersecurity, we have DevSecOps. De developer development plus operations in which security is getting bad so DevSecOps is the position right which is having a lot of highest thing they are getting around 20 to 20, uh, 50 lpn right it's 50 right and in us you can call 140k dollar to around 200k dollar right what they do they embed security into devops pipeline like if there is any devops pi pipeline in your company they implement the security why it pays high because code move fast security must be fast right so their security is very much important for the devops the skills is ci cd ne next is sast and dast okay and then container scripting all those knowledge important for getting a job on uh, devsecops right devsecops engineer now the next position that that we have is security manager guys literally you are going to get very high security manager right or you can say ciso uh, probably a track right well, how much they are getting they're starting from 50 lpa in india it goes to around 2 cr highest paying job that we have security manager which is next to the director right and uh, they get around 200k us dollar to 500k us dollar right what they do they lead the entire cyber security department of a company right why it pays high because you carry full responsibility for breaches compliance and board level decision board is the highest uh, people in the company so you need to sit there you need to think for all those things what they do is you see required first thing is the leadership for sure which is mandate second thing is the governance second third thing is cloud security then business communication okay so probably you need to sit in some sort of deals as well so this is what you need to do now the last position that we have is nothing we have nine only okay so nine positions which is highest paid in security jobs and guys final advice if you're a beginner you need what exactly you need to do you need to start networking right make as much connections as you can then learn linux learn web apprentice very important then if you if you can then move to cloud security and pen testing right and guys my personal advice is uh, aim for architect level job or consultant level job or ai security job so this is what you can do probably if you want to learn about web and pen testing you can even check out this URL vihgroup.com slash tci and uh, if you want to learn about soc then probably you can look for vihgroup.com slash soc literally you, you might found something very interesting so that's what we have for today's video i hope you enjoyed just write in the comment box thank you very much for watching this video have a great day Jai.